Tylenol? Yep. Sweet. Took my Tylenol. No, I see it over there. Where? Oh, Where yeah, I, I didn't take my Tylenol. I lied. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I took You're it. So <laughs> Shoot. Oh. Hello everybody, this is Lindsay. Hello. Oh, is my face, what's going on with my face? Okay, nothing. <laughs> no. You're looking great. So okay. Looking clean. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tia. This is Lindsay, she's an amazing nurse. She comes in at nights. She's awesome. And we're gonna dance, so we're gonna get this party started. She is gonna dance with us tonight. Yes. This is day 13 I've been here. Woo! Yay, day 13, acute myeloid leukemia. <laughs> Liver, liver, living my life for, living my life for. Woo! In the LDS hospital with Lindsay and all these amazing people. I'm on my way. We're gonna dance. Okay. Okay. Hey. Don't do it up for fame. Oh. Uh, oh, go and do it. Oh, okay. Show me some moves. Huh. Huh. Right here. Sing it loud. Oh, yeah. Love you. Oh, go and do Closer. There we go. We ha can't let my neighbors hate me. <laughs> I'm already the weird one. <laughs> now I see the sunlight. Glorious. Glorious. Fade away. Lindsay. Woo! Give it up oh, for yeah. Lindsay, everybody. She oh, is a rock star, right? <laughs> rock star. Trying to keep up with you. No, I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, hi, family and friends. Go, Lindsay. If you're new here, I'm Tia Stokes, everybody. 
I'm 34 years old. I'm a mother of five major legend maids, Taz, Rose. I'll show you my cute kids. Look how cute they are. Okay. There's Rose right there. She's so cute. I miss her. And there's Major Legend Maze. Can't see Andy because he got his head cut off. Right there. And, oh, there's another cute picture of them. Right there. They are my life. They are everything. I love them. What? Okay, I will be in there. Okay, thank you. Everyone's beeping. <laughs> I didn't get you in trouble, did I? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. Um, but 13 days ago, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And so I've gotten to spend the days here with these amazing nurses who have been taking care of me. And I'm here alone. <laughs> Except for with the bee. <laughs> I just roam my my uh bedroom this is called my bedroom right a bedroom yeah. yeah yeah um because of the covid so no one could be here except for me so i miss my family a lot but i have good nurses and good doctors that are amazing and take really good care of me so um yeah but i will show you guys look at there's a good old lindsay Today, some good news, you guys, with my numbers. We'll talk about my numbers first. Today is the 7th, so my white blood counts are 0 0.6. My red blood count is 21.2, which um, they want me at 24. And I actually got red blood cells today. And, yeah. Did they tell you that my first red blood cell bag was leaking? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it had a hole in it. So we had to stop the process because it was leaking all over the floor and they got me a new bag. So luckily the bag wasn't bad or anything, no bacteria or anything. Holy cow, and today I'm losing hair like crazy, like crazy. And my platelets are 21. Um, they want them to be 20, so that's really good because uh, they've been really low the last couple days, like super, super low. And so now I'm on like a continuous platelet infusion. So they just give me platelets all day and all night. How long do you think they'll do that for, Lindsay? Oh, it really just depends on if, when your platelets start to come back in. It usually takes how long your day... 13? Yeah. Well, I've been here 13. 12 of chemo. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, don't ask me. Everyone's so different. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I would give it at least a few more days. Yeah. Cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. Once your platelets start to come in on their own. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'll be on that. And then my ANC is still zero, which it's going to be like that for a while, they said. But my blasts, cancer blasts, are still zero. Yay. Everyone throw up some hearts. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Hearts, some hands, some I love yous. Yeah, that's good. So we want to keep it like that. We are grateful, which it should stay like that. Right, Lindsay? Yes. yes. <laughs> we'll send the love. Send the love. It's okay, Lindsay. You're doing awesome. You're doing a great job. Yes, it's awesome. We're so happy. Um, today started out a little rough because I was bleeding so much. Oh, shoot. My tripod thing's going to fall. I'm not good at this thing. Okay, what? Boom. Okay. So it started out a little rough. Um, I was like super dizzy this morning when I woke up and like blurry eyes and just, yeah. Um, not doing the greatest because I was bleeding so much throughout the night and in my urine. And I didn't have a lot of platelets this morning. So, um, but it was good. They did awesome. Amber, she, when Amber comes here, I feel bad. <laughs> When Amber, the nurse, comes here, I make her work so much. She's like, 
working around the clock. I swear I'm her only patient. Am I her only patient when she comes? <laughs> no. <gasps> she's just, she's awesome. Seriously. She's amazing. She takes such good care of me. Um, but yeah, so good numbers today. We're excited about that. Um, I got on earlier and talked about hair wigs and stuff because today I'm noticing that my hair is just like falling out when I brush it or if I run my fingers through it, it's just like coming out like crazy. So, um, a lot of you, I love reading all your guys' comments. I'm going through them right now, but, uh, it's not like, you know, like an emotional, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at, it's just coming out. Like, it's so, so cool around here. It's, it's so cool. Yeah. Now you just like fit in with all the, oh, with the, the ball. Too. I don't know. <laughs> I just fit in now, she said. Now that I'm no, going bald, I've been. Fit in. Oh. <laughs> Look at there's hair everywhere, all over. Um, so my room's like full of hair all over the place because today I just noticed that my hair is falling out now. It's starting to fall out. So I just thought maybe it might it could be cool to have like a to save my hair and cut it and just cut it probably this weekend since it's coming out so much. Um, I've had long hair for a long time, but I did have short hair for a long time too. And I didn't mind it. So it's not that like I care that I'm going to be bald. I don't really actually don't care. I'm actually excited to put like, um, uh, matching turbans with rows. <laughs> <Just awesome. kidding. laughs> I'm going to wear matching turbans with my daughter Rose mm -hmm. and scarves. Okay. As we talk, it's just falling out um so i'm just thinking i but maybe i might want to save my hair for maybe for a memento or something Do i don't you know need anything right now? no i'm good sounds good you're awesome Lindsay. Ditto. thanks for dancing with me oh thanks for letting me it's an honor like bye <laughs> she's so cute so yeah so it's not like a like a like i i care i'm gonna wear a wig all the time i just for like memento you know like this memory right here when I kick cancer's trash. I don't know. So that's what's happening. I'm probably going to end up, I'll probably go live when I, actually I'm not probably. I'm going to go live and when I shave, when I cut my hair and shave it uh, because I want to document it, right? So yeah, it's crazy you guys. My floor is like covered in hair. I have tons of hair down there if you can see. I took a shower just barely and my hair was just falling out like crazy. Um, oh, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's a cool experience. I'm grateful for the experience. And I was actually just thinking in the shower that um, it's just so funny how like before we come to this earth, we're in heaven, like raising our hands to things and raising our hands to trials and agreeing to Heavenly Father like on these, you know, for this, for our missions. And um, yeah, I can totally see my hand up in heaven. <laughs> but there's a lesson to be learned and there's a purpose here. So I'm excited about that. I love the purpose. Um, but yeah, it's been awesome. I already bought you matching turbans. With, you did? You bought me matching turbans with Rose? Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Yeah, a company actually just sent me uh, turbans, like two turbans, top knots. They sent me two turbans for my bald head. And I'm excited to have like, to wear the scarf thing. I just need to learn how to do the scarves cute. So if you guys have any tutorials or cute ways to make scarves look cute on bald heads, send them my way. Um, but yeah, the hair loss thing has been huge today. That's been crazy. It's just crazy to see because you see it in movies, but it like it really does happen. It's weird um, Also today I taught I My awesome teachers are doing my zoom our zoom classes for the vault So I got to watch all my dancers dance, which was so fun. That was a highlight of my day It's so cool to have like that still my doctor's like oh my gosh This should be like the worst week of your life like the worst time right now and you're up, but 
it's because I feel like it still gives me purpose, you know? Like having that and being able to be a part of the kids' classes and stuff and see them dance. Um, purpose, guys, intention. We gotta live with intention, right? Every single day, live with intention, have a purpose. But do you guys have any questions for me? That's kind of like the update. I've literally been just like sitting in my room the last couple days because of so many different things. Like you guys saw the fevers, the shakes, the mouth sores. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I'm still on my food IV. They have me hooked up up there and I'll probably be on that until my mouth sores go away. Uh, actually it looks like it's getting better, right? But it still really hurts. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> if I keep pulling on it. I know, but I just keep brushing my fingers through it. I know. I need to just, I need to stop. So when I cut, I think I'm going to cut it tomorrow or Saturday or maybe on Mother's Day, which I just realized today that Mother's Day is on Sunday. So that's crazy. Um, my platelets, why are my platelets low? Uh, that's just what chemo does. It kills everything. And when I mean say everything, I have bruises like all over my legs from, um, yeah, from itching cause I'm super itchy for my rash, but because of my platelets are low they're they are bruising. So yeah, I'm trying to think of what else happened today. What else happened in my update today? Um, uh, oh, you're so awesome. Oh, shoot. Crap. Oh, you're so nice. You guys are so nice. Can you guys imagine me bald? What I'm going to look like? Bald? I'm actually, I, seriously, I know it sounds weird, but I'm really not worried about being bald. I really don't care, but I just want to know, like, I kind of want to keep my hair or not, you know? Um, my husband and kids are doing great. I got to FaceTime my kids this morning. They're amazing. My boys are awesome. I don't know if you guys saw my post that I just posted on Instagram, but if you go look it up at the TV Stokes, um, one of my dancers' moms got me the coolest book, you guys, while I was in the hospital when I first got here. And basically, it re I got to record my voice reading the book, and then I sent it to my boys, and now they can, like, when they open the book to read it at nighttime, it's my voice reading to them. It is so cool. So when you go watch my post, it's kind of cry too. I, like, it's really like heartfelt but it's so cool i'll have to find out where she got it so i feel like it'd be an awesome mother's day gift because for your kids yeah it was just so 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 cute um my husband's doing he's a rock star he is working on our house like from from sun up to sundown and I talked to Lucy today, who's there helping him, and Ville, which they're amazing. They've been there for so long, helping him. And he's just, yeah, she's just keeping him together for me. So I'm so grateful for that, because she's amazing. She helps out a lot. Um, but he's doing awesome, and I love him so much. Um, I'm so grateful. I just want to end this and just say I'm just so grateful for this experience. I'm grateful that it's recovery week, you guys, and I'm feeling good. Um, like I said, my day, my daytime nurses are just awesome. So they get me feeling good by nighttime. I'm like, I feel awesome because they've given me blood platelets. They've been working nonstop tirelessly for me. And by nighttime, I feel a lot better. <laughs> so I'm so grateful for them. Uh, another good thing is I've been showering every day, you guys. So that's a good thing. A good thing i've been having the energy to shower and oh stop touching my hair um and i'm so grateful but i love you guys and i'm so grateful for all the prayers if you guys have any more questions make sure you leave them in the comments below be sure to like and subscribe so if you're here right now do me the biggest favor and like this video so we can let youtube know that they want to keep me on here <laughs> because you guys know my history with YouTube, so 
um, give this video a like, 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 and we'll go out with a bang with our song. Um, oh yeah, well, it was so funny. My nurse just came in and asked me, she was like, how are you feeling? And um, I was like, I feel great. Like, I feel awesome. And she, I'm, I, I feel really good. And she goes, you don't always have to be happy, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not always happy. There's days where I'm like crying. And I, if I say I'm okay, that's like, you know, that's the worst that I, I never have like a bad day. There's never like a horrible day. Like every day can actually get better, you know? So it's all in our attitude, right guys? It's all in the way we choose to live it. So we're gonna go out with some music. You guys, while we're doing the music and dancing, give this video a like, make sure you guys are subscribed. This is my journey. If you guys have any questions, Oh, wait, what did you say, Chelsea? I swear I just saw you had a question. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how to go back and look for it. Um, why blood in the urine? They don't really know. Um, they don't really know. Well, just because my platelets are so low. You guys, platelets, it's... Yeah, and my red blood counts were so low that they just feel like my body was, like, traumatized. Like, and from everything that's been in it, the chemo that my body was just like freaking out. So they gave, they did give me like a medicine to help stop the bleeding, which it has stopped. So that's really, really, really good. So grateful, so grateful. So I'm gonna play our music. We're gonna dance out, we're gonna say a prayer. And as we're dancing out, um, I want you guys to hit that like button. Don't forget, did you get what stage you are in? No, they said that, um, yeah, a cute, like leukemia doesn't really have stages as far as I've been told. So, yeah, if hopefully that answers your questions. Okay, guys, it's day 13 we've been here, day 12, chemo, day forever. We're still happy and dancing, right? Still happy and dancing. So we're going to dance for my girl Kim, because she's awesome and she's been an inspiration to me and she didn't even know it, but she does now because she's with me. It's crazy how you can know someone without even knowing them, huh? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh. Uh, I'm not as good as rapper as her either. So hit that like button, guys. Woo, I'm so grateful for all the prayers. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> That's not a dumb question. Did I take more than I gave? Did I do it all for fame? I'm behind. Uh, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. And how could I forget? Look at my cute B. Tia B, guys. Tia B. <laughs> Grateful for another day, you guys. Grateful. Hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just things who you are with you when you're gone. Hey. Dance it out, guys. Hallelujah. Two. Hey. Remember why I came. Hands up. I love you guys. 
Uh, why you're named after a bee? <laughs> um, my grandma, her, I'm so grateful, but her, um, Henrietta B is her name. So Henrietta B is her name. And so I am named after my dad's mom. And so is my Rose. Rose has it too. Rose B love. So yeah, I think I saw one more question here. Um, oh, how do I get my clothes washed? Last question of the night. <laughs> um, Kiana, my niece, she comes and picks them up for me and she washes them at, or my husband and then they bring them back for me because you can't wash clothes here. So, so grateful. More hair. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Thank you for being here. <sighs> yes to a good day, right? Love those good days. Love the days where we fill up, you know, and we feel happy and feel well. So I'm so grateful. And let's end this with a word of prayer. Our dear, kind, gracious Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to be gathered here as friends and family. And we're grateful for another day that we had to live and to be able to serve others and, and, and be able to be a light to those that we come in contact with. Help us that we will, we will shine our light and remember who we are and our talents and use them for good. We're so grateful for the people that pray and fast and are helping me along in, in this journey because I know that they are making a difference and, and pushing me along and giving me that support. I'm so grateful for this experience to be able to share and, and learn and learn for myself and grow that I know I have a lot to learn and grow from. I'm so grateful for my family and for Andy, for all the hard work he's doing to our house and trying to get it safe before I come home. And please bless him with health and strength and grateful for my kids and for let them know how much I love them and, are, and please comfort them throughout this time. Grateful for all of those that are helping me, the nurses and the doctors, and please lead their hands so that they can be able to fill of thy love and know what to do for me and all the patients here. So grateful again for our many blessings and we know that everything good comes from thee. And we ask thee to help us to be happy and live and, and to be more Christ-like. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for being here again, and good night. <laughs>